Here's our final example for lesson 7.4. We're gonna solve the triangle by finding all of its missing parts. You can see here that we have one angle and one side. We also know this angle is 90 degrees. With two out of the three angles known, we can find that third angle, angle Y, by using the triangle angle sum theorem. Let's add 52 plus 90, which is 142. And then we'll subtract that from 180. 180 minus 142 is 38. So that means that angle Y is equal to 38 degrees. Now let's use trig to find the first missing side. You could start with either XY or YZ. I'm going to start with XY. So we're going to start here with this side. As always, though, anytime you do trig, you should start by labeling your sides. And let's label them in relation to the angle that was given to us, the 52 degree angle. YZ is across from it, so that's the opposite. The hypotenuse is YX, which is across from the 90. And the 8.5, the only side left, is the adjacent. If we start with side XY, you can see that that's the hypotenuse. So we have the hypotenuse and we also have adjacent. We don't know the opposite. So we want to use the trig function that uses both adjacent and hypotenuse at the same time. That's the ka in Sokatoa, which means we'll use cosine. The cosine of 52 degrees is equal to the adjacent, which is 8.5, divided by the hypotenuse, that's side xy. Now we can go ahead and solve that with the cross product property. Cosine of 52 gets multiplied with xy. Type xy times the cosine of 52. And that's going to be equal to 1 times 8.5 which is just 8.5. Now to get our answer, we have to undo that times by the cosine of 52. I know there's not a spot in your interactive notebook to write this. You can just do this part in your calculator. We'll divide by the cosine of 52 to get the xy by itself. So we need to do eight and a half divided by the cosine of 52 degrees. 8.5 divided by the cosine of 52 degrees. Is 13.8. I rounded that to one decimal place. So our final answer here is side XY equals 13.8. And now we're ready to find the second missing side. To find side YZ, let's use the values that we know for certain. I know we just calculated the hypotenuse XY and we got, you know, about 13.8. However, that's a rounded number. When you're doing your trig calculations, it's best if you use numbers that aren't rounded. This eight and a half was given to us and you can see that side YZ is the opposite. We can use the trig function that uses both opposite and adjacent and that's going to be the TOA of SOCA TOA, which is tangent. That means the tangent of 52 degrees is equal to opposite, which is YZ, divided by adjacent, which is 8.5. Now we can solve that with the cross product. We have 8.5 times the tangent of 52 degrees is equal to 1 times yz, which is just yz. Now you just type that into your calculator. 8.5 times the tangent of 52 degrees. Close the parenthesis, hit enter, and there's our answer. We'll again round that to the tenths place, one decimal. You can see in the second decimal place, we have a seven. Seven rounds up, which means 10.8 becomes 10.9. The final answer then is side YZ equals 10.9. And now we have our triangle solved. This now completes lesson 7.4.
Once you have this slide filled in in your interactive notebook, you're ready to go to Schoology and complete your 7.4 homework assignment. Thanks for watching and good luck as you try some problems on your own. Bye.